Hi, hello, how are you? Hello, it is Monday and I'm working from the couch because it's 102 outside, I think. Tomorrow it's gonna be 108, which, ah, uh, just love California. Um, and that's how it's gonna be all week. So I'm gonna be pretty much here after lunch because it's too hot to work in the second bedroom. Continuing on with the saga of will I ever get my kitchen table, I called today and the girl was telling me that it got delivered to like their warehouse instead of the actual store for some reason. And she was like, but it says right here that you're gonna get it June 13th. Like you might even get it a couple days before that. And I was like, babe, today is the 14th. Yesterday was the 13th. <laughs> and she was like, oh, right, okay. We'll just call back in a couple of days and if we still haven't received it, then you'll file a claim. And I was like, and what does the claim do? She's like, well, it lets them know that we haven't received it. So not that we're getting a refund and not that it's doing anything for the table, just so that Home Depot knows we haven't received it. I'm just gonna wait until like Thursday or Friday and hopefully by then we've heard something. If not, I'm gonna call again and we might just ask for a refund and go pick up a table somewhere else because this is so frustrating. Um, especially that it just seems like nobody knows what's happening and I 100% don't blame the girl that's there because she doesn't create the website, she doesn't deliver packages, she's not in charge of any of that. It's just frustrating that nobody seems to know what's going on. So that's where we are with the table. Also, the stand that I purchased that was supposed to have the three tier baskets is supposed to get here today. I was looking at it, I was like, you know what? I never checked how big the baskets are. I looked down at the very bottom of the description. It says a, it's a counter display, which means it's like two feet tall. That's not how tall I thought that it was. And I'm very upset about that. So it's getting here today. I'm going to request a ref re I'm going to request a refund and take it to the post office, hopefully tomorrow during my lunch. I ordered a different one off of Amazon that's they're like wire baskets. It's the same like three tiered and they come with white like canvas bags on the inside. I'm just frustrated with all this. I just want my house to look nice. I just want to be happy here. I just want to eat at a dinner table. Is that too much to ask for? I don't understand. Ugh. Reading wise, still reading the Mysterious Benedict Society. I'm on page two, 106. Um, making slow progress, like I said, it's a little bit slow, but also the chapters are really long. I think I'm only on like the fifth chapter and I'm on 100 pages. So they're about 20 to 25 pages each. Um, All of the kids have accepted the mission. They're now staying at the like house that Mr. Benedict runs. And they have been told that the mission is that, or part of the mission is that somebody is sending out messages that are like coded in the radio and the TV. And they're being like inputted into children's brains. Um, and a bunch of people have gone missing. So they're, that's what they're going to be trying to figure out. It's a little hard to explain. Um, and Mr. Benedict used to be like highly regarded in the like scientific community and now everybody just thinks he's a crackpot. So even though he stumbled upon something that's really serious, nobody believes him. He's narcoleptic, he does all these crazy experiments, so they're just like, ah, oh, whatever, we don't really believe you. And even when somebody finally did, all of the people that were working with him or that he talked to went missing. Um, so it's interesting, I just haven't done too much reading in the last couple of days. Uh, my hands are feeling better, so I did do a little bit of crocheting last night. Um, and I might see actually if this is unscribed, because then I can crochet and listen to it tonight. I think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna get back to work. Pray for me in California with this heat. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I would go into the office so that I can be in the AC, but then that means that I'd have to put Marcy outside in the backyard. And while dogs can withstand more heat, she has black fur and that just, I don't feel right leaving her outside when I know that I could be home with her and she could be inside. So I'm gonna be home all week and I'm gonna get back to work now. Hello, happy Sunday. Uh, I think the last time I updated you guys was Thursday and it's just been 
a busy couple of days. I don't know if you can tell, but my face is sunburned. I did put uh, like a tinted moisturizer on. Not very well though. Um, just to kind of try and pretend like I'm not sunburned, uh, but I am. I went to the beach yesterday with my boyfriend and his family to celebrate Father's Day. It's his brother-in-law's first Father's Day, um, and obviously Father's Day for his dad, and we had a really good time. Now I'm going to Starbucks to get something to drink. Um, I'm gonna get a water as well. I did drink water yesterday, but not enough for like having been gone all day. Um, so I'm gonna go get a drink, and then go to the bank to pull out cash for Skylar, and then, go to the grocery store. That's pretty much all I have planned for today. I'm out. It's like 1030. I wanted to be home before 12 because I, I don't want to get any more sun exposure. Um, and it's going to be another warm day. So I'm going to be in the house. I did finish the Mysterious Benedict Society. I gave it a three star. There just wasn't enough that kept my attention. Um, I think maybe because I was crocheting, I just kept putting it down. I would read like one or two chapters and then crochet and then one or two chapters and then crochet. Uh, so I think that affected me a little bit, but there just wasn't a t like anything that was really, really grabbing me and making me want to continue, honestly. Um, but it was good. Five, three stars is good. Four stars is great. Five stars is amazing. That's just how I kind of rank it. Um, they end up foiling Mr. Curtin's plans. Um, Milligan is Kate's dad, which makes some sense, I guess. It was just a sweet ending. Um, they're off the island now. They're back at the orphanage. Miss Paramol, who was Rainey's tutor, um, adopted him. Kate's now with her dad. Uh, Sticky's parents want him back I guess after I mean the broadcasting is what was kind of making them like greedy people but they have spent the last few years looking for him and realizing that like you know they love their son and that they were bad parents which was super sweet um, and Mr. Benedict adopted Constance and Constance is kind of she was what helped them break the machine the whole time Throughout the entire book, I just could not understand what her purpose was. And in the end, it was her stubbornness. And Mr. Bennett kept saying that she's a lot smarter than people realize. And this entire time, we thought she was like six or seven. She's two and a half. Which explains why she is so incredibly smart. Because she's got the like knowledge of a child who is, you know, seven or eight years old but she's two and a half, which is, or like two and 11 months or something like that, which is crazy. And she sits in the whisper, which is the machine that Mr. Curtin uses to send out the messages. And it's like also controlled by his brain. And it sort of gives you like a euphoric feeling when you sit in it, which is why the messengers crave their like special secret privileges so much. Um, and Constance gets in and it asks you all these questions. It says, say your name. And she says, Rainy Molden which is Rainey's name and Sticky Washington and Kate the Great Weatherall and it says, are you ready? And she says, no. And she basically, her incredible stubbornness, her terrible twos essentially, is what confuses the machine so much and allows Mr. Benedict to destroy it. Well, he doesn't destroy it, he just stops it. And he's hoping to use it to give back the memories of all the people who were brain swept by Mr. Curtin, um, to forget who they were and be helpers on his island. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I want to continue on with the series, but probably not for a while. I am, as I've said, trying to get through as many books on my shelf as I can. I definitely need to get through at least like half of them before I really start buying books again. Um, I think later on today I'm going to catalog all of them in my bullet journal and maybe make a spreadsheet attached to Copile so that I can have a list of all of the books that I have and I definitely should start writing down when I buy them um, and have like a deadline. Like I need to read it within three months of purchasing it. Uh, 
so that is my update I don't know if I'm going to do any more reading today I might I'm mostly going to be crocheting um, but we'll see I will update you guys later good morning happy Monday um, I feel like this was the wrong shirt to wear it just accentuates how red my face is because I got sunburned um, I'm just gonna continue this vlog on from last week because I think I only filmed like three days and it's only like 10 minutes of footage so we're continuing on it's Monday I'm working I just had breakfast um, I did my hair this morning I haven't straightened it in so long um, and it feels gross at the ends that's my least favorite thing about the blonde is that it just always makes my hair feel really brittle um, but I have a hair appointment in a couple of weeks to refresh it and cut off a little bit um, which I'm really looking forward to mostly uh, for the past like three or four years my boyfriend's cousin has been doing my hair and she moved to Tennessee so now I have to go see somebody else reading wise I started Unravel the Dusk last night and I am 107 pages in, something like that, and there's just over 300, about 350. Um, so I made really good progress last night. I was like, I'm only just going to read a couple chapters and there just wasn't a good stopping point where I was like, okay, nothing's happening. Let's put it aside. Um, this is book two in the Blood and Stars duology series I'm not sure um, the first book is spin the dawn it's by Elizabeth Lim um, and it's about our main character Maya she goes to she goes to the palace to compete to be um, the Emperor's tailor but she goes disguised as her brother um, who is supposed to be going in place of her father her dad is just hasn't been doing well really since her mom passed away um so she knows that her dad can't go um but she can go in the place of her brother she had three brothers two of them passed away um they were killed in war and her third brother comes back but his legs don't work he's paralyzed so she knows that he can't go so she goes dressed as him um eventually she does get outed as a woman but because she's so good the Emperor decides that it's okay um, and it's you have to read the book or go read the synopsis she meets the enchanter who helps the Emperor look young basically and be very charming um, and he is not currently in this book we did get like a small snippet with him um, but they are in love but she told him that he needs to go and be free of the palace and she will go back and handle the emperor um who is supposed to be getting married to lady sarnaya who is the daughter to the like opposing kingdom um and she doesn't want to she said that she she literally said she would rather kill herself than marry emperor kanujin um <clears throat> and it's basically what she tries and she tries to escape and it's very selfish because her marrying Emperor Kanujin would solidify their kingdoms and stop the war um, but she doesn't want to do that and so that's about as far as I've gotten um, I only have like 19 seconds left so I am going to go but I'm 107 pages in I think that I can finish this relatively quickly and that'll be my fifth book and it's only the 21st so maybe I'll read six who knows um I will update you guys later hello happy Thursday um I think the last time I talked to you was Monday I haven't done too much reading um I think I only read like another 30 pages so I'm about 150 pages into Unravel the Desk um it's interesting I just haven't been into reading um like the storyline is good I just haven't been wanting to read and Look at how sad my forehead looks it's not as red anymore but I've got like big splotches um, I've just been crocheting a bunch uh, we finally got our table in it is so nice I'm so happy with it I will show you in a second um, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of reading this weekend Skylar is going to the river with his dad 
um, his dad's two best friends from like junior high and their sons Dane and Patrick are Skylar's like childhood best friends which is I just think it's so cute that like his dad and his best friends had boys who are all like the same age and they're all best friends um so they're going I'm gonna paint the living room while he's gone um Saturday I'm hanging out with some friends in Orange County I'm gonna have lunch with my mom I'm just gonna try to like be active um but also get some reading done um I said I wasn't going to buy any books other than um our book club book so I went and picked that up this month it is Gideon the Ninth I didn't purchase a book last month because the book club book was Unravel the Dusk or Spin the Dawn which is the book before Unravel the Dusk which I'm reading now so I've already read Spin the Dawn um and because I didn't buy read a book last month or buy a book last month I broke my rule and I bought um Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I have not read this series. I've heard great, great things about it and I have seen the movie like 10 times. I absolutely love it and I'm really, really just on this kick right now of reading like middle grade YA books, adult even, about like kids with strange abilities who live in these sort of like orphanage homes or are part of secret societies. So I bought it when I was there um and i'm really looking forward to reading it i need to add both of them to my physical tbr catalog list um and update it so that'll put me at 52 i believe but i'm planning on reading gideon the ninth as soon as i finish unravel the dusk which i'm hoping to finish like in the next day or two um that's pretty much it i went into work today i'm super warm i got this little ac unit um i just turned it on for a second to test it out and it worked so well I have the filter dipped in water and it's in the freezer right now and I'm gonna put ice cubes in it tomorrow. I don't need it for the full day, I just need it for like after lunch to like cool this room down and it says it should work on high for 8 hours, on medium for like 10 hours and on low for 12. Um, I obviously won't need it for that long, I'll need it for about 4 hours after lunch. So I'm really hoping it's going to help. Um, as nice as it is to work from the couch and be like comfortable it sucks not having my double screens and just not being able to get as much work done as I really need to um, so I bought that I also bought the Revlon one step volumizer I had the all-in-one which was like a tiny little red one uh, which was great until like my hair got to this length and now I just feel like it takes so long and my hair was getting so frizzy when I was doing it. It would only look good like the second day, not the first day. Um, so I bought that one and my hair looks great. I love the way it looks. I need to like learn how to do the curl and the flip and stuff. And I also just think that I desperately need a haircut and for my hair to be like pampered a little bit, which I'm doing next month. And then it should feel a lot better. Um... I think that's all I have to update you guys on. I am basically done with work right now. I'm just gonna go sit on the couch and work on some crocheting and then definitely do some reading tonight. But actually, let me take you to go see our cute little table. Okay, here is our table. I love it so much. It's so much better that it's not like this big high top table. And then this is the snack station that I got. So we have um, pop tarts and these like peanut butter bars in here that my boyfriend and I love um, chips in the bottom and the middle one and then we have mango chili um, slices it's like dried fruit and trail mix and it just is so much better than having a ton of boxes all over the place and we actually had dinner at the table the other day which was really really nice and I'm just enjoying it I'm super happy with it I'm actually gonna be painting this is the wall that I'm talking about painting this weekend while Skylar is gone because just look at the color of it like I feel like if these walls were white then our apartment would feel a lot brighter um, and now without the big table we can actually open these up and it brings so much light into the apartment obviously I don't want it open like when it's really hot so I have been keeping them closed but in the future um, I'm basically just trying to make it a little bit nicer. We don't like the apartment, but if we're living in it, why not try to enjoy actually being here? So it's really, really hot. I'm gonna go put my hair up and sit on the couch and I will update you guys later. Hello, happy Monday. Um, this whole vlog has just been 
a mess and I am pretty much just going to continue it until the end of the month. It's the 28th right now. Um, so we only have two more days and I am still reading Unravel the Dusk. Um, our systems are down this week, so I'm just gonna read and answer emails. Uh, I'm about halfway through the book, so we'll see how much progress I can make in the next couple of hours. I have been doing a ton of painting. I have been painting our living room. I will show you in a second. It was like a really dark brown and I'm painting it white and I'm kind of nervous that it's maybe too white uh, uh, compared to the walls in the rest of the apartment but I'm too far in. I'm just gonna have to go with it. Um, and uh, I just got off the phone with my sister. She stressed me out so much about our trip to Hawaii and I'm almost just like let's just not go then. You're stressing me out so much about how things are gonna go but I just feel bad for my grandmother I really want to get her out of the house and have her do something but my dad just texted me and said that she's been having more bad days than good days so it's probably looking like she's not gonna go anyways um, so if my boyfriend and I go I think it's just gonna be the two of us and I think it's just gonna be like a relaxing trip um, hanging by the pool hanging out at the beach having dinner and just kind of enjoying and relaxing just the two of us so uh, I'm just stressed out. After talking to her on the phone for like an hour and a half, it really was rough. And I just want to take a nap and like honestly have a drink. Um, my head hurts. I'm just going to get comfortable and keep reading. I've got my computer open next to me. Um, and I'm just answering emails as they come in, so. <sighs> that is pretty much the plan for the rest of the week. After I finish Unravel the Desk, I am possibly gonna read Gideon the Ninth. That was supposed to be the um, book club book for the end of this month and they ended up doing the live show yesterday and I didn't realize that it was coming up so soon so who knows when I read it or what I will read next but I'm going to go and hopefully keep reading and I will definitely end this on the 30th and I don't even know how much footage I'm gonna have to edit for this vlog. Ugh. I'm just tired. Hello from my bedroom again. It's much later. Um, I think it's almost six o'clock. I just ordered dinner. I was telling myself I was gonna be really good, but honestly, after the conversation with my sister, I'm just, I'm done. I just want food to be delivered. I'm gonna stay in bed. Um, and I did finish Unravel the Desk. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. It wasn't nearly as magical and like captivating as Spin the Dawn was. Um, but it was still really good, four stars, like I said. I just wasn't, I was very intrigued in the first half, um, or like the first third, and then not so much at the end. I just really wanted to know if Maya was gonna turn into a demon or not. There were some super, super sweet moments at the end where Maya gets to see the ghosts of her two oldest brothers, Sendo and Finley, who died in the first book. They went off to war and unfortunately did not come back. She does have one brother um, who does come back, but his legs are broken and he has to go through like a ton of rehabilitation and he's just not the same person that he was when he left. Um, and she really misses her brothers and they've been close her entire lives and it was really, really rough after losing her mom when she was really young to have a brother to have two brothers die one come back and just be a shell of himself and to watch her father just crumble basically um but she calls on the spirits to come and help them fight this war and her brothers sendo and finley show up and it's just was super super sweet and she was the closest with sendo and he kind of like stays behind for a second and he says that you know they're so proud of her and that, you know, she was such a shy little girl when he left. And that he's so sorry that they didn't come home. But that their mother would be so proud of who she was. And that she needs to stay and be strong and take care of her brother and her dad. And I honestly teared up at that. It just made me so sad. But it was so incredibly sweet. So I really, really enjoyed that. That's why it was, it made it into a four star, honestly, for those, like, moments at the end. And for how much I really did enjoy the beginning. Um, I think because I just wanted so desperately to know if she was going to be a demon or not. I might, I wasn't fully in like all the other details, but it was still really good. So I'm just waiting for food now. 
I'm going to relax. I've got the air on. I'm going to curl up under my blanket. I'm watching Phineas and Ferb. Um, I've been watching it all day, but I just put on like the series now. Um, I was watching it on live TV, uh, but I think I'm going to watch it from the beginning. That's my plan. And I just want, I don't know, I feel very blah now after the conversation with my sister. I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want to do. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next, if it's going to be Giddy in the Night, or I've got, what is it, Reaper at the Gates and Blood and Honey sitting next to me. Who knows what I'm going to pick up. There's two days left in the month. Who knows if I'm even going to pick anything up. Um, we shall see. I just, I really wish Skylar was here so that I could like talk to him and be comforted. That's really what I want. So I'm going to comfort myself with food. Um, anyways, I will update you guys tomorrow if I decide to do any reading. If not, probably on the 30th to just close this out.